You want to ride in this? Mm -hmm. Really? You got to talk to mommy about that one. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want you to ride in it. You want to? You got to tell mommy that you want to ride in this. Mm -hmm. Did you just shit yourself? Because yeah. you smell. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can you tell everybody what that is? No. No? Mm -hmm. You know what it is. So in today's video, we are actually going to do an install on the lower control arms and relocation brackets. So let's get to it. Now we got a proper intro, right, bud? You want to ride in it? Well, you got to. All right. Well, first we've got to change your shitty diaper before you go for a ride in. It. Plus, it's kind of nasty outside. We'll go for a ride in it another time. We'll do it when mommy's at work. You want to do it when mommy's at work so she doesn't know about it? Yeah. And we can make a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Take a little man for a ride in this. Make a YouTube video. Now you want to change your diaper? Okay, let's go do that. All right, guys, let's get to this video. First one out. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these off. Um, I don't know. I might install one side first and then move over to the next side. I think that's what I'll do. So let me give you guys a little bit of an update. As I got to taking things apart and I realized how shitty most of all this stuff looks, like the rear end and all that, how it kind of got that rusted look, I decided to get some black engine paint it's the same stuff you can use on uh, brake calipers or whatever so i'm gonna paint all this shit and try to clean it up hopefully it turns out looking all right it just looks like shit right there so hopefully it'll look a lot better once i clean it up so with that being said this just made this job take a lot longer i was hoping to get this done in the next hour or so but this is going to take a while because i need to tape everything up i need to wrap everything in plastic which it's going to take a while so sorry guys but it'll look a lot better once it's done and it will look super clean under here so there we go. I've got most of everything wrapped up in plastic. I got some blue tape around everything. So now I'm gonna hit it with the paint and hopefully she looks good. It'll clean it up a lot underneath here. So there you go. I'm definitely not gonna cover anything of me actually spray painting this because I don't want paint to get on my lens. So I'm actually gonna take the camera away for a while while I'll paint this. The next time you guys see this, should all be black. I'm trying to get this shit adjusted. There's how she looks now. That's a uh, hundred times better. This looks so much better under here already. I'm super excited to see how it's gonna look with the uh, relocation brackets and the lower control arms. It's gonna look, it's gonna look good. It's just a high heat engine paint. That's all I did, sprayed on there. I took a little bit of sandpaper and I actually sanded it a little bit too. So there you go. So now let's get back to uh, relocation brackets and the lower control arms. use the factory lower control arm bolts to put back in the exact same holes that they were originally in so and then I'll use the new bolts for the uh, newer lower control arms at the new uh, location cool. <laughs> he said dad that's strong not really bud all right hon we're gonna tighten this one back up can I use that, Logan? Thank you. Here, you can hold this one. Now we're tightening it. Mama, can I do this? Yeah. Isn't he strong? Yeah. Can I get it? What, did you not get it? Oh, I can't take this out. Can you hit my hand? Oh, shit. You okay? Hit my head every time I work on my car. Damn. Dad, that kiss, you got a boo boo. Black kiss, you. Thank you, buddy. You made it all better. 
I'm all better. Gosh, I do like hurt myself every time I work on my car. So we got the spacer in here. We got this bolted in. So now it's time to mount the lower control arm. Here we are, time for the install. Just a little friendly tip, if anybody's ever installing these, make sure you put the little grease fitting facing down so you can get to it. And that also kind of helps you identify what side they go on. I feel like I spend more time looking for shit than actually working. Cause like every time I turn around, I'm like losing shit. Like I was looking for this freaking extension and couldn't find the damn thing. So I guess we got everything on tightened and I'll go back through, check all my bolts, check everything, make sure everything's tight. I give you guys a couple nice little uh, glamor shots of it once I get all this plastic and everything down. But there she is. This right here, it's like a really, really easy job. It's pretty simple. The install is pretty easy. Like, I guess once you figure out where everything goes and what's what. It took me a lot longer than it would normally take, I guess, one of you guys, because I was trying to film shit, even though I wasn't doing like a detailed video, but still trying to film it. Yeah, let me get everything all buttoned up, finished, and get the last finishing touches on everything, and we should be good to go. These are the polyurethanes. So they require to be greased. That's why they've got the little grease nipple. But the sephirical bushings back here, they don't require any greasing whatsoever. So it makes it nice. And then that's why I said earlier that you want to leave this nipple area like facing down so you can get to it with your grease gun. So I'm going to hit this one. And you usually just do it until it just comes popping out. You'll see it come out the side of the there you go. All right, there you guys go. She's all painted, looks 110 times better. Next, I think I'm gonna try to do something with my mufflers because they kind of look a little bad. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a slow process. I'm gonna eventually just kind of go through everything underneath the car. That's one of the cool things about having a lift. I mean, this is like stuff that most people will probably never even see, but it's just nice to keep it all like cleaned up and looking nice. That's what we did already. And I wanna thank you guys for your help. I almost feel like you guys helped me with this shit. And those of you guys that watch this video, you can tell everybody that you helped me install this stuff. I'm actually like really proud of myself right now. Thumbnail. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> that was just me fucking with the camera working on my thumbnail. But here we go. Look, this makes the third set of lower control arms and hopefully these BMR ones will be the final set and they'll work out. I think they will because I know a lot of guys that are already running this exact setup on their GT500. So I think we got a winner here. So I guess I can probably get one of the better reviews on lower control arms being that this is my third set. I have a set of JNM, Eibach adjustable. Now I have these BMRs. The BMRs look the best. They're even a lot bigger. You look at the, I mean, they, they look a lot more stout. So anyways, three sets. The first set was the J&M, good lower control arms. The only thing I didn't like about those is that they didn't have the grease fitting and they were all polyurethane bushings. They don't have the grease fitting like you guys saw me greasing these. They don't have those. After having them on the car for a while, the polyurethane bushing cracked. And if they had the grease fitting, which gave you guys the option to grease them, they probably would have kept them from cracking because that's probably why they cracked because they didn't have grease. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just guessing here. The second set I went with was the Eibach adjustable. Those, probably the worst lower control arms I've ever had, they were basically coming out of whack. I would get the car, I would measure, you know, from wheel to wheel. I would even measure the lower control arms, matching them both up. They would both be all measured up and then I go back and check it and the nut or the screw or whatever would be loose again. It was causing more wear on one side and just, it was causing a bunch of stuff. So I'm hoping that this stuff right here fixes the issue. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted the fix and I don't want to mess with adjustable just because I just had bad luck with the adjustables. So I went with these and thanks again, Chris over there at CJ Pony Parts. He helped me uh, find the right lower control arm that I think will fit my situation best. I don't track my car i don't like race it or anything like that i built it just to have fun with and enjoy out on the street so i think this setup will be perfect because 
they have the spherical bushings on the rear and the spherical bushings are more designed for like your higher horsepower cars you know so once you know i think it's once you get over seven eight hundred horsepower they recommend spherical bushings over the polyurethane so that's why i went with those these kind of have the best of both worlds i know a lot of guys don't like the spherical because they tend to make noise they're a little bit more clunkier the polyurethane they don't we'll see what happens and i didn't want a lot of noise us car guys know how it is when we hear some noise we freak out but when you have a modded car that tends to happen anyway and i don't know if i covered this in any of my videos if some of you guys if you don't have a mustang or you don't know a lot about cars basically all this right here is supposed to help with traction and reduce wheel hop and it's gonna it, you know it's gonna help with burnouts and takeoffs launches all that good cool stuff so i wasn't gonna go with the relocation brackets because i didn't have them with all my other setups but chris he kind of talked me into it and it made sense and these actually are a lot better for you know cars that are lowered and also with the angle it helps with traction too and then it you know you've got three different adjustments here i went in with the center one just because i figured you know i didn't want to go too low with it or too high with it because too high with it would be right back at the stock we're well, not at the stock but kind of close but chris talked me into doing these and a lot of guys say that they've noticed a big difference by even doing these reloca relocation brackets by dropping the control arm down and i guess it gives it a better pitch or better angle for better traction so hopefully all this stuff works out great and if it does I will definitely be looking into getting some more BMR stuff for the car and one of the best parts about BMR, not only is it good, a good product, the shit looks badass. So guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys got some useful information out of it. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, so tell me, what is that? Okay, what is that? Up. Thank you, babe. See? She actually helps work on the car sometimes. Uh, babe! What? I don't want to be on video. Well, come here. Come here. Yeah. Oh, come here. Come here. Why'd you turn, babe?